Image-based rendering for scenes with reflections. Image-based rendering can create photorealistic transitions between images using a combination of 3D proxies and view interpolation. Unfortunately, when the scene contains reflections, the use of a single geometry layer causes ghosting and popping artifacts. In this paper, we show how decomposing the scene into two additive layers results in much better view interpolation results. To compute our two-layer description, we begin with a sequence of images and estimate the camera poses and parameters using structure from motion. Next, we estimate one or two depth estimates per pixel using our novel transparent multi-view stereo algorithm. After fitting some global 3D planes to this data, we use graph cuts to assign each pixel to one or two planes. Here, each pseudocolor indicates a different plane or pair of planes. In this image, the blue pixels indicate reflective regions that are represented by two layers. These two depth maps show the depths of the front and rear layers, respectively. For this slightly longer sequence, let's look at some decompositions. Here we see the colors associated with the front layer. This sequence shows the recovered rear layer, which corresponds to the reflections. Let's look at the final view interpolations again. Here we see the result using our new two-layer system. And here is the original one-layer result. Here we see them side by side. This is a different, more three-dimensional sequence. With traditional image-based rendering, we see a lot of jitter in the reflections. With two layers, the results are much smoother, although we can see some artifacts at depth discontinuities. Here are the results side by side. With the statue sequence, single layer rendering produces doubled ceiling lights that fade in and out. With a separate reflection layer, the lights move smoothly, resulting in a much more convincing impression of the 3D scene. The side-by-side -side results reveal slight ringing artifacts in the two-layer decomposition. In practice, our system is meant to be used under interactive user control. In this case, when the user releases the mouse, the system drifts toward the nearest reference view, which shows one of the original images. This increases the perceived realism of our image-based rendering system. In the single layer rendering, the reflection of the calendar appears fluttering. In the two layer result, the reflection appears slightly more stable. The single layer result for the car sequence has the front window broken into several planes. The two layer result has a slightly improved reconstruction, but the two layer stereo has trouble reconstructing the highly slanted surfaces along the front side of the car, resulting in strong ghosting. <laughs>